Except it's not live. Pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. That's why we said me. Huh? That's why we said me live show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Let's do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know why. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something, Thursday. right? But I forgot Thursday. That's why it didn't sound right. Oh, is that why it didn't sound right? Monday... Monday, Tuesday, Sunday. Wednesday, it Thursday. Sunday. Okay, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But we're just going to do Monday through Friday. Okay, so. Monday through Friday. How do you say it in Spanish? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Jade one. Jade. Jade. Go ahead, Jade. Speak your Spanish. I don't remember what Sunday is. I said Monday through Friday. What's Monday? Lunes. Lunes. Martes. Martes. Thursday is jueves. I don't know. Jueves. Domingo. I don't know what Wednesday is. Ah. Alright. So you guys are getting asked out on Wednesday. Sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. Your Wednesday is going to suck. <laughs> JK. Do I just JK them? <laughs> See, this is just as fun as being live. All right, Monday. Monday, Monday. I want that one. But hold up. All right, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, energy. You guys have anything to add? Any advice? No. Wednesday, Wednesday. How are you guys feeling about next week? How are you Great. feeling? Great. Amazing. 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 Whew. Which day is that going to be? Wednesday? Look at two cards for Wednesday, too. Let's do Thursday. Let's do Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Let's do Friday. Normally I do weekend energy, but let's do let's do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll do Friday. F it. Express your love on Friday. Okay. I'm not gonna dig into Friday though. That's Thursday. Monday. Give your relationship a chance. Let's keep it at that. So Monday, Monday, Monday. Work on your partnership. All right, get creative. It's all about imagination. It's about embracing you, yourself, your relationship, the aspects of your mind, what it is you want to do. I feel fertile energy, so fertile myrtle on the beach, okay? Wrap it up. So work on your partnership. Let me, let me, let's see with these. So if you're in a relationship, work on it. Speak from the soul. Tell the truth. If you're not in a relationship, this is, you know, using that imagination to create something new. Give your relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance. So it's basically... You know, you're like, I don't know. All right, I don't know if you got multiple people fighting over you, if this is just mental. Okay, but the universe is pretty much saying, give it a chance, give it a shot, embrace it, nurture it, nurture your mind, nurture your creativity. Okay, don't, don't sit here in this energy and battle yourself whether or not you want to nurture something. That is kind of foolish. I guess it depends on how the rest of the week goes with the energy. But I, I wouldn't stay here for too long because if you if you stay in this stalemate type energy, it's it could be a lose lose, okay? And then you got people fighting, arguing, not wanting to make decisions, you know. So it's I, I almost just want to say like mental abuse, okay? Don't don't try not to get yourself in that situation. I, I'll put it that way. Um, no woman, no cry. Get your best advice for Monday. So if you have a chance to, you know, work on something, you know, work on it. All right. 
So your best advice for that is justice. That wanted to come out for the whole entire week for the comma. All right, so it's making fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right, but make sure you stand up for your belief too. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in, in the middle of the deck. Let's see what Tuesday is all about. All right, it's, you guys are, are distancing yourself from someone, and but at the same time, you're trying to keep an open mate, an open mate, an open mind. But it says your soulmate may differ, and it's not the usual type or, you know, it's... This is all about expectations. You gotta you gotta let go of expectations sometimes. Okay, there's definitely a distance between the two of you right now. Um but they want you to keep an open mind. So it's like the same it's like the same type of energy from Monday, Tuesday. Okay. So it's like I don't know if you're distancing yourself while you're trying to like discover something or trying to figure something out, but the divine is more or less saying, you know, keep an open mind, please, type energy. So let's find out about Tuesday. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Remember, I used to say in the government yard. All right, come on, Tuesday. Mingya doesn't want to come out. Tuesday, Tuesday. Honesty. All right. You can't always expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. So be honest to yourself. Be be true to you. Type energy. Okay. It's it's kind of the comment you're gonna be dealing with. You know. Do I do I speak up? Do I not? Do I make a decision? Do I not? So tell me about honesty. You know. Speak from the soul. Speak from your your mind. Be clear. You know. It's it's all about perspective. You know, dreams can come true type thing. But you got to be true to yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is being smug energy. Like you expect somebody else to cater to your ass. Don't do that. All right. So I don't know if now we got a codependency issue within a relationship that's already together. But, you know, in due time, like, this is tough. Because this this card to me is is arrogant. All right, I, I don't know if someone's bugging out, but if you have that honesty and you give someone a shot, possibly, you know, here comes a new opportunity for a fresh start, okay? So, tell me about Tuesday. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Hi, Goose. Oh, okay. Lovers. All right. So it's holy decision making week for you guys. Intimate relationships. Carefully weighing out of the decisions. Good health too. That can be a, if you're having poor health. This is a new, a new start to a, a fresh you feeling better. But again, another decision. So it's like Monday, Tuesday decisions. Who sings? Who sings that song? Monday. Who would we learn that song? Who would we pick that? Elementary school. It's just an elementary Literally. school, kindergarten type thing. Yes. Don't be a child, ladies and gents. So on Wednesday, this could be the one in a past life relationship. So this is deep. All right, but you already know this person that you're already seeking, or vice versa. Um, but maybe this is why the decision is so hard. But again, if you want to create it, create it. Okay. If you're gonna sit in this, then that's gonna be rough. All right, it's going to be real rough energy if you decide to sit in this. So please don't do that. All right, tell me about Wednesday. Or you're going to meet somebody brand new, okay, over the weekend or just someone new or you had a fresh start. It's a situation like that and you're questioning, do I give it a shot? Do I keep an open mind? You know, you feel this connection with somebody, but you really don't know what to think about it. It's that type of energy too, okay? But if you're in a relationship... It looks like midweek might be a little tougher for you to make a decision because now you got karma attached to that, okay? So you have the six of wands, and it was reversed. So to me, it's saying don't don't let your ego get in the way either, okay? Because you, you're thinking what your ass and your elbows versus your brain, okay? Um, there's also healing. So this also talks about somebody you know because temperance is at the bottom of the deck. So this also is telling me that there's a situation ship where there is, is healing required and also kind of 
someone's ego being destroyed too. Wednesday. Tell me about Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. All right, grief. So this is hard because it's linked. Understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate something new. So I don't know if you think because you're not making this decision or somebody else isn't making a decision, now you're going through the whole midweek of heavy energy and having a tough time. Don't don't do that because what's happening is you're letting your ego get in the you're, you're letting your ego get the best of your energy right now. Okay, because you're either waiting on a decision or you're about to make a decision. It, it, it's something like that because you definitely, you know, you know, there's something here with, with something and some type of situation ship. But don't tell me about the six of wands. Do your best to, to kind of persevere, push through, be victorious, you know, go after what it is you want, you know, because Friday, we didn't even get to Thursday, but Friday is express your love. So it's it's kind of like. You know, the Queen of Wands, that it's being feisty, it's, 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 she knows how to use imagination, she, she knows a lot about inspiration, she's, I'm feeling feisty, so, to me, it looks like the feminine energy is going to have a really tough time making a decision when it comes to somebody because it's almost like it's almost like you feel like there's absolutely something there so it's like I don't know what comes in over here or what kind of mental mind games is happening okay but it's it's deep because it's her that needs to make the decision so I don't know if there's two men deciding on when to come in, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, all the good stuff, you know. But it looks like this is a hard decision for her. But at the same time, it's like a victory. But a victory that's attached to grief. So that's, it's deep. Okay, so let's get your best advice for Wednesday. You got the page of air. A challenging information, delays, plans, anything like that, truth delivered, all right? So this is what I'm saying. It's, it's going to be real tough. So eventually this truth is coming, and you're going to have to make a tough decision. So it's the Queen of Wands that's going to have to make this decision. You know, and, and, and is it a small victory? Yeah, but again, it's it's freaking deep, ladies and gents. So let's find out what's for Thursday. You know, you desire, you desire love. I mean, deserve love. So it's like, you want it, but I don't know if you don't know how to express it at this point, because Friday we have express your love that, that's sitting right there. So it, it's like, there's love here, but you're saying to yourself, what does love have to do with this situation ship? Because that's literally what this is screaming. Okay, so let's find out what's going on with Thursday for you. Thursday, Thursday. So, you got two. There we go with the blame, that feminine energy with that blame. So I don't know what that's all about, but envy. So everyone's accepting, everyone has different challenges, okay? So this is challenge, it's, it's challenge energy. It's, it's that competitive energy that was on my board of the five of wands and the whole blame thing and taking responsibility. So it's like take responsibility for your own grief, take responsibility for the own, your own role that you played in this situation ship. But to me, it's like, I don't know if she's saying no, I, I don't know, but I know it looks like the divine feminine wants that, wants that love. Right. So, but like at the same time now has a really tough time acknowledging it or bringing it to the surface or, or pretty much even talking about it. Okay, so it's like you're going to find yourself in a, in a tricky, tricky situation with someone, with a lover. The lover came out, you know, so it's like, tell me about you deserve love. So I don't, the Queen of Wands wouldn't, I mean, depending on, you know, Sagittarius, Leo, Sag, Leo, Airy energy, Aries energy, even though it's Sag energy, it, it's, to me right now, it's, it's fiery. So it's like, even if that's your sun moon 
rising, anything like that, depending on where your Sag is at type information, it's like this type of energy is fast, swift, go with the flow. Doesn't really think twice about all this mumbo jumbo because her back is turned towards expressing, her back is turned towards taking blame, taking responsibility, because sometimes the Queen of Wands does not take responsibility. It depends on the situation ship. And again, it, it's the karma, so it's, it's Libra energy. So it's balancing out the scales. Do you want it? Do you not want it? Do you want to express? Do you not want to express? So you're in a tough situation ship when it comes to, to love and karma. It's linked, okay? Um, do I walk away from it? Look at that karma. Hooey. Do I walk away from it? Do I go towards it? So it, it's almost like this one's in a new... It's almost like you're going to make that decision on Friday whether or not you want to be in this situation ship and you're going to move forward. So it looks like you're going to express your love. I just don't know what direction you're going to clearly express it in. You know what I'm saying? Because it's... You're, you're leaving or going. You're, that's the same thing. You're staying or leaving. So, I just heard ouch. Ouch energy. You know, or is it ouch because you're going to rip the band-aid off? You know, I'm not sure. You could be dealing with somebody who's really smug and there's a codependency thing happening. Boats are rocking. I don't know what that means, but boats are rocking. Cats are going ape shit right now. So Friday, we have Express Your Love, okay? So tell me about Friday. Tell me about Friday. What's that? Some people are getting money on Friday, because I almost said Max a million. That's my cast name, Max a million. So, but I heard like ching ching So Friday might be um some money for you. But we have trust and we have forgiveness. So it's it's moving forward and it's using your inner voice. And, you know, if you're harboring, whatever you're harboring, you got to let it go and express, okay? So some situationship is going to occur where you're going to need trust and faith. You're going to need that magician energy to take a leap in a certain direction, okay? It's either trusting your own instincts, forgiving yourself for the situation you put yourself in, vice versa. It really just depends on your scenario, ladies and gents, okay? Um, so let me find out, tell me about Express Your Love. So it's either you're going to finally, you're going to, it's a decision, you're going to figure it out. You're in or you're out, you're up and you're down, that type of energy. What song is that, guys? What? You're up and you're down, you're in and you're out. Oh. Undecisive energy, if you ask me, but who sings that? Katy Perry. Katy Perry. And you got the Hierophant, so it's it's linked to spirituality, too. It's linked to somebody in the public eye, too. So it's, it's this is somebody who's like to be in the spotlight. So it's, or you're dealing with a marriage, or you're dealing with ego. It could be the end of that. It could be a rebirth. It, it could be a, a start to something brand new. Mm -hmm. If you allow yourself to express, if you allow yourself to trust, if you allow yourself to forgive, if you let go of the ego, you let go of the arrogance, you take the time to see something, you confront the karma that needs to be confronted type energy, okay? But you're going to have to make a decision clear as day. So, for those in this situation, if it's, it's not a lover, it's a no, no matter if it's a bond, a friendship, a work situation, ship, it's still going to guide you through the week because you could decide, you know, do I want to take this lunch meeting? Do I really want to be at this job? You know, so it's it's one of those where it's it's heavy and it's all about you and, and how you're going to persevere, you know, um, how you're going to push through. So you, you, you. And, and and possibly another. It really just depends on what it is. Oh, I forgot to throw you a card for Friday. What it is you're seeking, okay? For those in this energy, Friday, 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 Friday. Um,
Friday, Friday, Friday. It's a seven of water. So an, a complex decision, a need to do research, but you can't procrastinate. You can't sit in this energy is basically what it's saying. If you have an opportunity to make a decision, make it. Because if you don't, lousy, lousy energy is going to come your way. There is no question, okay? Because a whole week of trying to decide, like, I, I could see if you're making a major move or a major purchase, something like that. But to me, this not what that is about, okay? So tell me about the seven of water real quick. Because you got to be careful here. You got lots of karma on the board. All right. So see what I'm saying? You don't want to be asked out. This is, this is, you know, the universe being like, I can play takeaway too. Okay. But it's like something to you is dead. So it's that whole resurrection feeling I was feeling. But to somebody in somebody's eyes, something is completely dead and there's no... There's no, we're going to talk about it. There's no forgiving. There's no, I'm going to trust you. There's no, I'm not, I'm not waiting for this. So I'm not discussing this. It, it's, it's an, it looks like some of you are going to say no. And others might possibly say, yes, I guess it just depends on whether or not, however you want to deal with this situation ship. But if you ask me what these cards are saying is saying you can work on a situation ship like this. Okay. And then you got others that are in this situation ship where there's lack of confidence and you'd rather play the blame game than to own up your, to your own shit, you know, and to accept the love. All right. But it, whatever it is, midweek is, is, is deep. Okay. Because there's some type of truth. Honestly, there's, there's something coming in the divine saying, keep an open mind. Okay. So, if you're already in a situation ship, if there's synergy attached to the situation ship, then yes, work on it. If not, you know, you're you're in that energy, or, you know, stay. Do I stay or do I go? You know, and if it's like, I don't know how long you've been doing that game either. You know, like putting the blame on someone else. You're sitting in grief. You know, like you're trying to be honest. This person isn't. You're trying to create this person isn't. If I can see you later, alligator. All right. Stop messing with the clowns. Leave the mur murkies, leave the mur leave the monkeys at the circus. All right, so it really just depends on what situation ship you're in. And others, the divine saying, you know, give it a chance. Regardless, midweek is deep. Okay, so I love you guys. Have a fantastic week. Work with this energy. Remember, if you find yourself in this energy, do your best to, to, to mentally control your thoughts. You know, accept what needs to be accepted and, and move past it and move on move forward. If you give someone a shot, same advice. Move forward. Don't sit in grief, disbelief, delusion, confusion. Get out of the IONs. Okay. There's separation here too. Again, get out of the IONs. I love you guys. Bye. You guys want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Bye.